and welcome to another episode of the CX500 build here at Diamond City Cycles and what we're going to be doing today is a seat cowl. So the seat cowl, I know that they sell seat cowls here and what I'm going to be using is there's two off the shelf options here and I'm going to actually show you that you can actually modify parts as look at this guy flexing his buns. It's like something out of Street Fighter. What we're going to be doing, in fact I think I'm down the wrong aisle. What we're going to be uh, doing is, oh here we go, fabricating a seat cowl. There's different kinds of seat cowls that you can get, tracker seat cowls and things. But what we're going to be doing is using this one here. So you can see all these different cowls and versions. Obviously you've got your cafe racer cowl, you've got the, the narrower pump down, you've got the classic deep cowl, you've got a really wide one there. So if you've got like a GS 1100 or something like that. And anyway, going back to this cowl, what we are going to be doing is, there you go, so this is an off-the-shelf uh, tracker style cowl. What we're going to do is use this, because this is the right dimensions for the CX500, but what I don't like is this bat wing at the back. The bat wing isn't a good style. So what we can do, and what is e really easy for you guys to do at home, is obviously cut the shape, Cut it up to the top there and make a really neat cowl so it's a lot shorter and a lot neater. If you don't want to do that however, there is this off the shelf option here which is kind of like a little bit more of the style that we're going with but heck. But the only thing is is that the size are the kind of wrong dimensions for the CX itself but this would be a perfect application for any other bike. So we'll be replicating that style on this cowl. Easy. So what I've got at the moment is I've put the tank on, the tank does need to drop down at the back, but I'm just trying to get this line here. So this is the line, that obviously needs to come down, I've got this gap here, so I'm going to do is slightly shave, bit a bit, just trying to get this cowl to then sit over these and just kind of take that line through. I don't want that massive gap there, I mean that's about four inches, I just want it to be neat and tidy across that. Where I'm up to at the moment is I've got the seat ready to be ready to put on. I've marked it there with tape where I'm going. But I hate doing this. I knew it was gonna come up to bite us in the bum. I thought that we might be able to use these existing brackets and mounting points here, but the seat is actually a lot higher than what the bar is. 
And as much as I hate doing this after powder coating a frame, I'm gonna have to put this bracket there. I really don't want to, but I'm going to have to. Bummer. So I'm gonna have to sand a tiny bit of that and then do a, a quick fix. I'm trying to do it as, as high up as I can so that obviously it doesn't mark or show or anything. gonna do just that tiny little lip there just so I can roll that there and then we can hide it with a bit of paint So that is all for this cowl episode. We've got the cowl fitted. And the next step, I guess, is to actually finish it, refine it, and then get it painted. Let's go out here for just a little bit of a breather. Oh. Sitting on the dock. So, next steps, I guess, will uh, try and get the tank and the cowl to fit together. Put it in the frame, and then we can actually do that and merge the two, marry the two, and just make sure all our lines are perfect. So that is the next job. So until, uh, next week. I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe to Dime City Cycles' this channel, my channel, Instagram channel, both Instagram channels. Heck, follow everyone's Instagram channel that you want to. It's a free world out there. Head to the link below on Dime City Cycles and donate five pounds and you can win this tracker build. So until next week, why say stay safe and I'll see you then with more CX videos and more any other videos I'll be doing. So, take care.